Hi, I'm Ryan Huddleston, musician, audio engineer, and backline technician. I'm in the studio getting ready for the next record. I'd like to explain some of my favorite tricks for keeping your gear in optimum condition so you can take the stage or hit the studio like a pro. Let's go in the control room and check it out. Let's talk about string buzz. There's a couple different things you want to check. The first thing you need to make sure is that you don't have any damage to the string. So a close look will tell you if you have a kink somewhere that might be causing some issues. If you find it, try changing your strings. The next thing you want to check is that your neck doesn't have any damage. A quick look down the line, like this, and then like this, watch out for any waves in the fretboard. If you have a problem there, you'll see it and you'll want to see a specialist about that. Next, you want to check your frets. If there's a lick you like to do, like bending here or maybe down here, check that that area isn't worn down. And if it is, then that would be causing buzz just in that area. The other thing you need to watch out for is a lifting fret. If, you're, if your frets have a nice crowning, they're still rounded, but you can't see why it's causing that, you might have a fret lifting. Again, you're going to want to see a specialist for that. Now, if you've checked that, there's no damage on your guitar. You need to be aware that if you change your gauge, your tuning, even the brand, it can affect how your action is uh, affected. And um, beyond that, if you don't find any damage, then you need to make some basic adjustments that just happen with time. Temperature, weather, humidity, all these things can cause that, taking it to the gig back and forth, one state to the next, the coastline, all these things will affect how your guitar performs. First thing you want to check is your truss rod. On the last fret here, you're going to push, and you're going to push here on the first fret, and what you're looking for is a small gap between the string and the frets in the middle of the neck here. So if you have too much, like this, then you need to tighten it. If you have it where the string is resting on the fretboard, then you need to loosen your truss rod and bring it back this way. Now what you want to look for is one to two business cards is the ideal spacing for there. And you can adjust that depending on your preference. If you still haven't found the problem through all that, your next culprit might be the action. So take a close look this way at the radius, and if you see one string is high or low, you'll make those adjustments here at the saddle. If they're all radius nice, but you're getting buzz on all the strings, you'll want to raise your whole bridge assembly. Now, easy ways to know right away if you pick up your guitar and there's no damage. If you have buzzing down here, usually it's because your truss rod is too tight and you need to loosen that. If you're getting truss rod in the middle of the neck, or uh, buzzing in the middle of the neck, it's because your truss rod is too loose and you need to bring that back a little more straight. If you're getting buzzing in the upper frets, it's usually because your action is too low here. But otherwise, that should solve all your problems with string buzz.